Poppin, Bozo, Lewis, are you ready? I'm going to read you a holiday classic. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an old story from when I was a little boy. Okay, can I read the story? Well, you'll just have to wait, okay? Ah, these kids. Alright, here it goes. Twas the night before Christmas. And all through the house, not a horn swoggle was stirring. Not even Cousin Ralph. The trash bags were hung on the front fence with care. Oh. In hopes that Uncle Pigpen would soon be there. The roadkill was so tasty. Mm -mm -mm. Smelly and dead. As visions of tacos danced in our heads. You like tacos, don't you, Bozo? Mm -hmm. The children were crying. They'd been crying for days. Ah. But Granny Noxima wouldn't change her ways. <laughs> I in my jammies with Bozo and Moose started out the next morning to find the Christmas goose. Mm -mm -mm. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a jolly old fat man with a six-pack of beer. Oh my, mm -mm -mm. beer. Mm. And tagging behind him were eight scrappy kittens mewing and pawing cause Dems had lost his mittens. Mm-hmm. Now, that fat dude he asked some questions for directions to Beaver's Dam. Cause Granny Mae Bankhead stole, stole the prize Christmas ham. He stole it, yeah. Well, so I, I, I pointed the way to this dude and shed a tear. And I sighed, ah, is that jolly old bastard had an ass ten feet wide. He gathered his kittens, his beer in his sleigh, spanked all them their little kittens, and called them by name. He said, on oh, nutmeg and Snuggles, Crackhead and Duke, then forgot the rest of their names. Close your ears, little ones. Then proceeded to puke. And I said, as I gag, <laughs> and he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas! You fat ass. And to all the rest of you, from Eugene Hornswoggle, the Love Matrix Gods, good night.